Hello my friends and welcome to another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. Today I thought I would come out mushroom hunting for a change. Um, so I've come into this area here where um, I have been here once before. So let me show you a guide of how the easiest way to find edible mushrooms in a grassland environment like this. I'll turn the camera around guys. So look, I'm in this grass area. What I look for, if I go into an environment like this, what I look for are anomalies in the grass. And I'll show you what I mean. So look, there's your normal, normal grass. If I pan around, can you see that darker green line there? That's what you're looking for in this environment. That is caused by fungal mycelium. So if there's fungal mycelium, the probability is there will be mushrooms. But it, you can't assume, because you see a fairy ring like this, is an edible species of mushroom, right? So let's go and have a look. Let's follow them. There you go. There's your mushrooms there, look. Can you see them all along the edge? There, there's one there, there, there. So, what species are they? Let's go and find out. There's quite a few here, actually. There they are, there, look. So, I'm just gonna pick it, and I'm gonna pick it from the base, like that. So, what I'm looking for, can you see the pink gills in there? That doesn't really mean too much, to be honest with you. If it was white gills, leave it alone. If you find a mushroom like this with white gills, leave it alone, don't touch it. But can you see you've got the serrated edge cap? So that's one indicator I'm looking for. Now the other indicator is if I scratch this, if it turns fluorescent yellow, then I cannot eat it because this will be the poisonous yellow stainer. It's not. So therefore, that confirms the identification to me as an edible field mushroom which is great. So I'm going to go and collect a few. I don't want them big, I want them like that, that's a nice size. And I'm just going to check the identification of that one as well. Because you can never assume that uh, you get a fairy ring, because you, you could have multiple species of mushrooms in, in one area. And I found one the other day actually, I found some field mushrooms. And in smack bang in the middle of the field mushrooms was a micro parasol called a dapperling fungi, which is really poisonous. And if I hadn't been paying attention to individual mushrooms, I could have picked it and I ended up poisoning myself. So I check every mushroom individually. Look, so it hasn't stained. I'm going to take this one because that's the size I want them. Check the gills, pink. So that confirms that it's another field mushroom. So I've collected some more. Let's have a little walk round. Let me take you on a little virtual walk round of a field. See what else we've got. Woo! I love doing this. This is so satisfying. Just walking around these fields like this. Let's just have a look at that fairy ring again. Look. There's a few there. I don't want too many. There's one. So I've just been round picking some. Right, guys, look, I've got a few. I've got a bag full here, look. Look at that. That didn't take long. So how do you identify a field mushroom? Let's have a look at it. So it's got pink gills, like that one. It's got a skirt on it. You see the skirt in there? That's the skirt just there. Scratch it. If it does not fluoresce yellow, bright yellow, it's not the poisonous yellow stainer. And with the agaric family, like these, the field mushrooms, can you see I've got them in order? When they emerge, their gills are very pink, like that. And as they age, they darken, like that. So I know that I've got some more nice edible field mushrooms. I've been in this environment for half an hour. And I've walked around the fields. And I've got loads. So I'm going to carry on walking because I want to get some more for my tea and um, but it is fun, it's good for your mental health to be in this environment foraging, I love it, it's really good. So there you go guys, that's the field mushroom, anything with white gills leave it alone, if it scratch it and it fluoresces bright yellow leave it alone, check every mushroom individually, really important, don't get complacent because the grim reaper is out here for sure and you have to 
really discipline yourself to check every um, part of the identification process, even with a filled mushroom. Because like I said, the other day I found a group of filled mushrooms, smack bang in the middle of them was a micro parasol called a dapperling fungi, which is really poisonous. And if I hadn't been paying attention and doing that, bang, that would have been it, game over. Anyway, take care. Woo!